obviously the season last year didn't end as we would have liked. I think it was a great day, but um, yeah, we'll come into this year target of winning that AIL or getting to top four. I actually think it was a fabulous day. I think obviously apart from the scoreline, it was a great day. There was great support. Um, a really good atmosphere and some really good feedback saying that it was a great showcase for women's AIL and the women's rugby game. The teams going into it wanted to win, but I do think overall the bigger picture, it was a great showcase. It was a great day to get more people behind the game, more people involved in the game. Um, and yeah, so hopefully again this year we'll get there and it'll be a good day. That's our goal, I think, always building, always evolving our game. And obviously that would be where we'd like to end up come April. I think we hit the ground running, so our first game is Belvo, followed by Bows, followed by Blackrock. So I think you need to be ready, you need to have trained well and be prepped. Um, but equally, it, it is a long season and it's all to play for. And part of me says, you know, what can you do? The fixtures are the fixtures, no matter who you're going to play. Um, I think it's good that you like go out, play the three of them, you have a bit of time to kind of work through those shapes, those little details that will hopefully be the, the deciding factor when you then play them closer to the end of the season. I think overall we preferred the, I guess, September to April, the longer season. Um, I think for the year that it finished at Christmas, you kind of felt like you were almost just getting going and it was over. Um, so I think we're, we're fans of the league layout this year, but obviously aware of the challenges with the Celtic Cup and kind of maintaining two teams throughout. Very interestingly, we have changed our coaching ticket, but everyone has come from, from railway. So everyone has been involved for a number of years, either on the men's, the women's, a bit of both. Um, so overall, I think our structure will stay similar, but obviously little nuances and little differences for each. Lindsay Pete brings the energy and the enthusiasm. Um, and I think once people get over the fear factor, she is that exactly what you've said, that kind of leader and the, the kind of hype queen.